Yo, what's going on guys? So it's Wednesday and we all know what that means. It means we get a new set of weekly challenges and I waste my time seeing if they're good or not. The Jack Jawbreaker. Interesting name, but this is what we've got for week two. We have to complete five of the challenges in order to unlock the main reward, which is of course the, the Jack Jawbreaker. I think you guys know by now. Well, duh. Okay, here we go. We basically just have to get a bunch of kills with a shotgun. I've put on the slug rounds because I do also need to get long shots and I don't know Cause that, that's a long shot. You see how crazy that is? The bad part about this build is the fact that it takes 2.7 years to aim down sights. What is this? Yo! Anyway, we have a new aftermarket part to unlock. I literally uploaded the last aftermarket part yesterday, which is hilarious. I didn't get around to it. So now for me, at least, we've technically got two aftermarket parts in a row. I'm really hoping this one is good because what I'm doing right now is actually getting on my nerves. Oh, there we go. There's one done with a scope attached. We got a bunch of kills with this red dot on, so we're good. Now we got a 20 clean kills done. Thank you. Now that we're starting to get some of them done, I probably could change my class just so it's a little bit better, but I really can't be bothered. I really cannot. I do still need long shots, so hopefully... There we go. Thank you. No! There we go. Give me them long shots. Oh! Oh, wait, we got all the long shots done. See, when you have slow grounds on... Oh, wait, what? When you have slow grounds on, it's so easy to get the long shots. Now we need to get double kills and quick scope kills, whatever that means. Are these counting as quick scope kills? I don't know. I've never tried to quick scope with a shotgun. It doesn't even make any sense in my head. Oh, I guess they were quick scope kills. Oh, all right, we just need one more double kill. Come on, someone make it easy for me. No! I got you. Is that a double kill? There we go. Week two challenge completed. All of the double kills. That means we should have all of them done. Thank you. Okay, so now if we go over to the weekly challenges, we can see we have unlocked the Jack Jawbreaker. That was honestly surprisingly easy. I believe it's for the KV broadside. It is. Okay, so it makes it fully automatic, bullet velocity and range, damage and gun kit control. Wait, converts this shotgun into a hard hitting automatic battle rifle. No way. Let's see this in the firing range. Ah, hey! Wait, whoa, whoa. This actually might not be too bad. Wait, hold up. This is actually interesting. I never saw the KV broadside turning into a battle rifle. By the way, I want to try it out a little bit in multiplayer. Then we're going to hop into some Rebirth Island to see if it's the new meta. Who knows? By the way, they added 10v10 back, which is beautiful. I missed this so much. Whoa, whoa. Okay, you know what? It aims in surprisingly quick. The downside I've already spotted is the fact that it only comes with a 20 round mag, which in Warzone especially, isn't really gonna hold up in the meta. Don't get me wrong, it might be decent for solos, but most people want a weapon that's good in all types of modes, and I don't see this being that just yet. Oh my goodness. Who knows, maybe it kills in two bullets and I don't even know. Whoa, that felt good. I think if you hit a headshot, the time to kill goes up by a lot. Like I noticed such a difference. Oh, flip. <laughs> he was one shot. I noticed such a difference in the time to kill just now when I got a headshot. Regardless though, I like the... Oh my goodness. I like the idea of making the KV broadside a battle rifle. It's not something anyone really expected. And I say this all the time. I love that part of the aftermarket parts. Wait, let's test the range. Whoa, he died quick. It's weird. I'm telling you that this weapon feels weirdly light. You see how fast he died? I know that's what battle rifles do, but it's so weird to have a shotgun doing this. I have to take a little swim. Let me climb up. Catch this guy off guard. Thank you. Get you out of there. Wait, I'm like... Oh my goodness. I'm actually liking this. Let me get this munitions box down. How? 
Bro, how have I not got the advantage UAV yet? Bro, I felt like I was one off of that advantage UAV 14 times. I'm not gonna lie to you. This thing is hitting. It has really good fire rate as well. Battle rifles tend to have a slower fire rate if they hit hard. The description of this weapon is that it hits hard and it shoots pretty fast. So surely that's a good combination, no? Get off of me. I'm dead. No! No, no, no. And now it's time to try it in Warzone. I genuinely missed this polyatomic camo. I forgot that this was a Modern Warfare 2 weapon. The Renetti also just got nerfed. So hopefully these lobbies are a little bit less toxic. But who knows? I need to make sure I get this KV broadside. So I'm going to try and land on this scavenger so we can come. It's glitched. It's not a real one. Oh my goodness. What a great start, Brad. What an absolutely amazing start. Today's not my day. I swear it's not. I was having PC issues earlier as soon as this attachment dropped. And now this. How beautiful. Bye, Ness. I'm wrong. That scared me. That sound scared me. But we got it. See that guy? Uh, I don't want to shoot yet. I'll be honest. It feels extremely weird to have a HRM as my secondary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, this could be something. Wait, I've only got eight bullets though? How's... Okay, let me refill here. Yo, this thing hardly has any ammo. That guy sent me. Give me whatever you have. Why did you send me like that? I'm just not a fan of the fact that this thing has hardly any ammo. No, no, no. Bro, can I get out of this one area? You got a drop inbound. All right, get me out of this area now. That guy was full sending me. I'm sick of the snipers holding me. It's so annoying. There were a couple of kills that I definitely could have got. I do also need to remember the fact that I don't have my perks. So when I want to do my usual stuff of jumping off of buildings, I cannot do that. Behind me too. And this is why I don't like playing solos. I mentioned it in my last video about how unsafe I feel when I play solos. And apparently a lot of you guys feel the same way, which I'm happy about. I mean, I'm not happy about the fact that you guys have to go through this too, but at least I know I'm not the only one feeling this way because trust me, it feels terrible. Okay, no one's up here with me, but the only downside I'm feeling so far is the ammo. Initially, I thought it was only the fact. Okay. I've got no ammo. I mean, I've got no armor plates. I just got shot from further. Bro, I just got shot from further back. If I had plates, I could have killed him. All right, let's land here because and get our loadout. We can hopefully fly away and I'm gone. I kind of want to get back to top prison, to be honest. Get up here. I want to get my payback on that guy. Hold up. Ah, so I could get him. Yep. Nope. Oh my, still got seven. Yo, this thing eats ammo. I don't know what's going on. He just got, oh my goodness. He jumped down the middle. Oh my, how am I not getting these kills, bro? I have to reload in half a second after shooting. One beamed in for me.
No! There we go. We got a KV broadside. Whoa, whoa. And I've only got eight reserve ammo. What type of ammo does this? Is this a shotgun still? I think it still takes shotgun rounds. I don't know. I could be wrong, but having eight in my reserve is kind of crazy. Okay, don't know what happened there. That guy's loadout was right there. Sensational. Sorry, brother. I mean, I've got, bro, I've got no ammo now. I need shotgun shells. What am I supposed to do without shotgun shells? I have to run and buy a munitions box now and watch this get me killed. Where's the munitions box? Hey, hey. I hear someone. What did I say? It got me killed. Oh man, this thing is broken. And I don't mean in a good way. Okay, made him one shot. Nothing I can do about it though. Bro. Bro, that fight took longer than it should have. There's another crack. <laughs> In fairness, it does feel like it probably kills really quick. But the problem is the ammo. I've legit got no ammo. I can buy a munitions box as well. But the ammo just runs out so quick. It's like... There we go. There's a kill. And look at that. That's all my ammo gone pretty much. Like I've got eight bullets left. Let me throw down this munitions box so I can get more ammo in my KB broadside. I do want to get more kills. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't feel confident with this thing. I'll be honest. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for giving me another kill. One's all the way up there. Let's see the range. Yeah, didn't hit a shot and wasted my bullets. Great. Well done, Brad. Now that guy got back up. Great. Also, who the flip? Four remaining. Stay sharp. Less than ten. We're still standing. It's a valiant effort. Keep your head up. Return to base. And the only reason I didn't kill the first one is because I ran out of ammo. Yeah, this thing is broken. It's absolutely great in multiplayer. Broken in Warzone and not in the good way. They need to at least let you use a magazine on this thing. And then it would be a little bit more viable. Other than that, it's flipping terrible. Before I let you guys go, I want to give a huge shout out to Boohoo, man. You guys can go check out all the clothing using the link in the description. There's a bunch of really nice stuff on there. And my code brothers will get you an extra discount at checkout. So go make use of that. Hey, man. And hopefully they fix it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.